Welcome to the Health Made Easy podcast. Health advice so easy, you'll feel more confident about your body, health, and life. And now, your host, Dr. Connie Jean. My name is Connie Jeong. Today I want to help you get clear about what it means to be healthy. So to put things in perspective, let me share with you my story. So it was just another typical day on campus, just before spring break. I remember my classmates and I were sitting out on the lawn on a beautiful sunny afternoon studying for our midterms, which is what we used to do. And as somebody who tends to border on obsessive compulsive, I was truly stressed. Stressed because I wanted to do well and it was midterm week. And because of spring air full of pollens, I was experiencing hay fever like never before. I began to scratch myself and sneeze every other minute and ultimately had to head home because I felt so bad. And by the time I got home, I had full blown hives on my back. I immediately went to the student health center and got some Benadryl to calm my reaction down. I never fully recovered from that episode of what seemed like a harmless allergic reaction to the pollen. So immediately after the midterm, I went snowboarding for the first time and fell on my derriere multiple times. And it wasn't a graceful experience by any means. I remember feeling extremely fatigued after our trip and began to notice rashes around all my joints and face and began to lose hair rapidly as time passed. So a little confession time. For me, as I was losing my hair rapidly, it was causing bald spots on my head. It's called alopecia. So I learned how vain I was. I wasn't so much worried about being sick. When it affected the way I looked, I found that I cared much more about how I looked and being sick really became secondary. So often I meet patients who are focused on losing weight, despite how sick they are. If only we can look better, we'd feel better. No judgment from me as I so understand that. So fast forward multiple visits to various doctors from internal medicine, infectious disease, dermatology to cardiology, after multiple tests, multiple medications, and multiple hospital admissions later, I was left with no answer. I'll share details of my story later, but for today, I wanted to share this experience with you to let you know I was out of my mind frustrated scared and confused. That brings me to the point of today's story. Just before I got sick, I was a self-proclaimed health expert. I was disciplined and restricted most foods that you weren't supposed to have. Forget eating in moderation. I restricted what I believed were bad foods, anything fried, meats, or sweets. I believe this was the only way to be healthy and have my physical appearance be up to standards I had set for myself at the time. That is, until I, of all people, got diagnosed with lupus. So my entire mindset regarding health was reframed after I was diagnosed. So today, let me share with you my perspective on what health really means to me. So to me, health is the ability to ride bikes around town, which I did over the weekend, for three hours and enjoy time with those who you love. And on a beautiful day, it's being able to go for a long hike and enjoy nature without feeling like you hurt too much to do anything. And it's being able to enjoy a cold glass of beer after that hike without fearing an upset stomach so bad that you refrain. It's having wine with your dinner without fearing a headache. And it's also devouring apple pie a la mode without stressing over the consequences, which I love to do sometimes. So to me, these are the sweet joys of life that you're entitled to. And I have to be honest, 
80% of the time, I drink green juice, eat organic, don't really crave the dessert or wine. Well, maybe not wine because I always love wine with my meals. However, 20% of the time, I enjoy and savor the flavor of life and enjoy vices in moderation. I've worked really hard to get to this place with my dis-ease, disease. While I'm not free from my disease, I manage it rather than being managed by it. So how did I do it? I let my body heal and allowed myself to feel and created smart balance in my life which I continue to work on. I learned to look at the overall picture and not only focus on the tiny details. So today, I challenge you to answer the following questions. One is, what does healthy look like for you? Be real specific. What things would you be able to do or eat for you to really feel like you're healthy? And how can you start doing more of what you enjoy without feeling restricted? Because when you restrict, the more your mind wants that thing you're restricting. And three, what do you have to monitor in your life to ensure that you have a good balance? Please share with those who need this message. Because I really am not perfect all of the time, but I work at it. And this is important for my patients to understand that it doesn't come in easy. So we constantly have to work to being healthy. That means trying new things and really enjoying life. Thanks for tuning in and get out there and live healthy, however you define it.